Hi everyone, BriefCam has just released BriefCam version 6.2 and in this video we'll review some of the new features and improvements. And let's first have a look at some important enhancements that we made to the user experience. Filtering and sorting objects are now at least twice as fast. So when you open a case for the first time, BriefCam loads the objects into memory and once that's done, you'll feel the difference when using the filters and sorting. We've also improved the experience for research. So the loading time of the dashboards was reduced by half and expressions were made simpler where possible. Also, we've added more languages to the user interface and now Bulgarian and Russian are also available. In our constant endeavor to improve the performance of BriefCam, for this release, we worked on improving the appearance similarity. And we improved the detection rate by 50% while still maintaining the same level of false detections. We also improved the size and speed accuracy for scenes with vehicles. Now to help you better navigate the BriefCam system, we've added new interactive exercises to the user training. So if you go to training.briefcam.com, and you open the user training. In addition to our many training videos, you can now try out BriefCam by interactively walking through typical use cases. So you'll try your hand at finding suspects, contact tracing, discovering trends in retail settings, and much more. Now for our more technical audience. BriefCam extended its security to protect against cyber attacks from within the organization's internal network and not just external threats. Administrators can now replace discontinued or broken cameras on their own without it affecting the license count. You can find information about how to do this in the administrator guide. The BriefCam Administrator Console now includes a new dashboard section. And in this version, this includes the review dashboard and this helps easily track the usage of the review module. BriefCam also now offers more robust scaling of face recognition matching service instances across multiple physical machines, which is very helpful in large scale environments. In previous versions, a watch list could only be handled by a single face recognition matching service instance, and now the same watch list can be shared across several face recognition matching service instances. In addition, BriefCam now supplies an installer for installing and configuring Nginx. This new installer minimizes the work that needs to be done to work with Nginx. And BriefCam now offers a variety of tools to improve and simplify the installation and configuration of BriefCam. There's a tool for checking the prerequisites of the machine before installing or upgrading, and a tool for collecting logs, another one for updating the shared directory, and more. For more information about the tools, you can see the release notes as well as the installation guide. In addition to the tools, we've also released the new Quick Start Installation and Configuration Guide. And this makes it easy to follow through the steps for installing and configuring BriefCam in an all-in-one environment. So to recap, we've made a number of improvements to the user experience and enhanced the performance of appearance similarity. To increase your abilities, we released our new interactive exercises. We also added many new tools for BriefCam administrators and those installing BriefCam. And that sums it up. For more information, please refer to the release notes and the BriefCam Help Center. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.